Hello and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. My name is Ricardo Silva and in this uh, fourth part of the body paint series I'm going to talk to you about a new tool that came out uh, in version 16 in order to deal with some um, uh, UVs that are more common in uh, cylindrical shapes. The tool is called the UV peeler. So we're going to be using this uh, a tool precisely to fix the problems that we were having on uh, the model that we were trying to uh, UV map on uh, part 3. So let's jump to Cinema 4D now. And uh, this is where we left off. So let's go back to the startup user part over here and I'm going to simply remove all of that information from the object. So it's basically the same way as we started before. Now I'm going to go into apply this texture to the object and I am going to select the, the texture tag and create a UV uh, coordinates tag. Okay, Just like what we did before except that we haven't jumped into, uh, into the body paint uh, interface yet. Now by having that applied uh, we can actually go uh, right now into body paint just to see how our tool is going to work. If you remember from part uh, three of this uh, series, the first time that we went to body paint, this is exactly what we saw. It was a complete mess of polygons and we didn't know which polygon was what, right? So in this case, we're going to be using a tool that is going to help us avoid those distortions that we find underneath when we actually select our object and apply that. So these distortions are hopefully going to disappear. The tool that we want to use is called the UV Peeler. The UV Peeler, I uh, don't recall where that is in, in the menu here, so I'm going to press the Shift and the letter C to bring my command line uh, prompt in there and I'm going to type UV space PEE -E, and it's in there pillar. However, I have to be, in order for me to use that tool, I have to be in the edges mode. And the reason for that is because I have to create an edge, which I already have created, that is basically uh, where the seam is going to be for my texture. So I have to indicate the, to the tool that this is the actual seam. This is the part where those two, the paper is going to meet around, okay? So by having that, once again, I go to my shift and letter C for the command line, and I will type UV peeler. So you'll notice that it has the shortcut command UJ. So next time that you want to use it, you just type UJ. In this case, I'm going to type enter. And now the parameters for the UV pillar is here. And notice that my icon, it has the icon of the tool UV pillar. Uh, you can click and drag around. Notice that when I'm dragging around, my my UVs on the right side are being deformed. So if I go up or down, I can basically remove the wrinkles. And if I move left to right, now I am basically uh, adding uh, less distortion or applying the texture in a more straight fashion. Okay. So the idea with this object is that probably I want to have it all the way to the right Okay, so I don't have any distortion uh, vertically. Okay, and then like so, making sure at and stop at certain point where I can see that there is no distortion exactly between those areas. Okay, so this tool will help me avoid those areas that are very easy to distort. So something like so. Okay, until you are happy. So basically, it's, uh, it's kind of like uh, ironing out the whole UVs for you without having to go and look for the points and so forth. 
Okay, so this tool is very perfect. Now, if you prefer to use your controls, you can use those controls in here. You can increase or decrease, uh, you know, the, the actual uh, uh, layout of your map. Okay, if it's too long, or it's too short, whatever. And also there is some adjustments here at the bottom, the uniformity of the U or the uniformity of the V. Okay. So the uniformity, the uniformity basically means the wrinkling factor. Uh, that's what I'm looking at at this point. So I can see that it's not going to be a, doing a perfect job, but it's going to be a, a job, be doing a job that is good enough to avoid certain uh, problems that I had before. So I can still have to tweak it probably here in my body paint interface, but so far this is perfect. So once I'm happy with it, I can go to my selection tool, go back to my uh, UV polygons and start modifying these, uh, these elements over here. Okay, so that's the idea when using the UV peeler. However, you're going to see that at the top, it did a pretty nice job on these uh, polygons very close to the edge but for example if I were to put a label in here like I mentioned before then I would have to select those polys so let me just remove that and I probably would have to select these guys and maybe these guys okay yeah why not the whole thing or maybe not the whole thing just this these guys okay and go to my top view and I go to the projection frontal and I have already that applied correctly. Okay, there's going to be a seam in here, of course, because like I said, sometimes those seams are unavoidable and this is one of those. The same thing will happen to the bottom part. So if I go and select the bottom part, polygons, the UV polygons back down here, and uh, I go again to the top view and I say projection frontal. Now, uh, let me just move it out of the way. I can see that my projection is correct. And of course it is uh, switched, it's in reverse. So I go to the UV commands and mirror U and it's now correctly mapped. Maybe the uh, proportion of those numbers is different than the proportion of this. So I just reduce the size of my UV polys on the 2D area over here and I move them to a safe place. But overall in here I have a perfect uh, uh, UV layout. You know, I, I can see that there is some distortion in this area and I probably could fix it uh, very quickly if I figure out which of these polygons are. So these are the polygons that are actually these two polygons, so I'm going to press UL to select that loop and this loop. So basically, I guess is the point in between them, so I can select the points, UV points, and the marquee tool, and select all of these points. Use my move tool to move that either back and forth or something like that. Uh, maybe it's the other one. Okay, so let's try these guys instead and I'm going to move it there you go that was it okay so by giving it a little more preference to that area down there okay I created a better non-distorted area in there but very quickly and very easily so as you can see before we took a little while to create this type of non-distortion in this particular case using the uv peeler especially for cylindrical shapes like this one was perfect and the only thing that we had to fix was the top and the bottom and everything now is perfect okay so this is the end of this introduction and uh, i hope to see you next time okay bye bye